there's another change we need to make inside of the time stepping loop. Right now we're updating all of the field components divided between the processors, but we're not exchanging any data between the processors yet. This means that the ghost field components here will just be equal to zero over all time because those components are updated on other processors. As a result, we need to manually give these values by sending data between the processors. And we can send data between processors using MPI send and MPI receive calls. Specifically, after the HY fields are updated, so update HYs, we can send the newly updated HY IMAX divided by 2 from processor 1 to 0. And then after the EZ fields are updated, we can send the newly updated EZ IMAX over 2 from processor 0 to processor 1. Here is an example of how we would send the easy IMAX over 2 value, so this step right here, from processor 0 to processor 1. We only want processor 0 to send this easy value, so we're going to have an if statement. If id this is equal to 0, then we're going to have that processor call MPI send and we're going to send the last EZ component, so we'll have EZ at index I end EZ update, the last EZ field that we update. We're going to be sending just one number, so we have one here. That number is a real number, so I'm going to write MPI real and we're sending it to processor 1, so I'm going to put a 1 next, and then we are giving this data transfer a unique tag number so this data doesn't get confused with any other data that might be sent between the processors, so I'm going to give it a tag, we'll call it tag 1, and the processors are then sending and receiving the data are in our communicating world, so we're going to put MPI com world and we're going to store the status of this transfer in an array called status. And then if there are any errors with this transfer, we'll see that in this error flag. And that is the end of our MPI send call. So we can end that if statement. And then we need processor 1 to receive the value, so we're going to have another if statement here. If id this is equal to 1, then we're going to have that processor call MPI receive. It's going to receive a value and then we're going to put that in IZ at the I start EZ store location. We're going to receive one number. It is a real number. We're receiving it from processor 0. We want it to have the same tag number. We have it's part of the MPI communication set of processors that we have. We have our same status array and the error flag. And we then we can put an end if to complete that if statement. So what we've done here is implement a blocking send, meaning the receiving processor has to receive the data before the sending processor will continue reading through the code. It is possible to implement a non-blocking send and receive call here, which will have the code run about 4% faster, but we're not going to worry about that right now for our small one-dimensional code. Everything I wrote on the previous slide is written more clearly here. You'll need to implement something similar and analogous to this for sending the HY component on processor 1 to the ghost HY component start on, stored on processor 0. Now notice here that we are using a new array called status, and as a result, at the beginning of the code where we declare all the variables and arrays, we need to add a declaration for status. So these are going to be integers, 
in this array. So status, integer, status. And then you can use npi status size. And the MPI library will already know what this is. So you don't have to define what MPI status size is. Also, we need to define the tag number, which will also be an integer. So integer tag one. And later on, we need to assign it a value before we use it. So perhaps set tag one equal to 20. When you send the HY value between the processors, use a different tag number for those send and receive calls. For example, maybe you'd want to use tag two, and maybe you could give that a value of 21 or something. Take a moment and implement the two sets of send and receive calls for the EASY and the HY components.